Hi, I'm Rob, but in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you my strategy in kill order for these epic trials in Nexus. Been fairly straightforward so far. Um, not too much threat from this team. The Fireborn Warrior burns two to four random enemies, gains armor, just making him slower to kill effectively. Nature Weird deals a okay amount of scatter damage boosted by elemental stars. Waterborne Priestess gives life to all allies, making them harder to kill, so she can be a little bit annoying, but not a big threat. And Natureborn Warden deals a random amount of, of damage to a random enemy boosted by green gems and allies. So we're going to get rid of the damage dealers mainly first, um, but because of the way this works, um, it's going to happen fairly regularly anyway. Like Queen Ash does heavy splash damage to the second last enemy, boosted by brown gems and allies, then pulls them to the front and creates three elemental stars. There's a certain amount of luck involved with this because whether those elemental stars work in your favor, charging the team up to do it again is literally a matter of luck. Sometimes it's going to set up the opposition and it will go their way instead. But she does give two magic to all elemental allies when matching a brown gem, which is going to push up the damage of our damage dealers, which is Queen Ash and the Umbral Giant, who deals damage to an enemy, then converts five green gems to a brown giant gems. This is not a bad thing if it goes wrong because the enemy doesn't use brown. So even if we cast that and it makes no matches, the enemy doesn't actually use brown. So they're not going to benefit from them, which is pretty handy. But these other troops are really handy as well. Doomed Gargoyle converts a chosen mana gem into a uber doom skull. You're going to try and basically find two skulls with a gap in the middle and you can pop that uber doom skull in the middle and it creates a skull match as well as a decent sized explosion generating mana for the team. Shayla, also very handy indeed, converts a mana gem into a elemental star. The thing to look out for is it, if for this is something that makes a four match. Now an elemental star creates all colors apart from purple and yellow. That's an umbral star. So it takes a little bit of looking, but once you get used to it, you'll actually spot these four matches relatively quickly. So it's going to be fairly straightforward in the end, but we do have a lot of benefits from the traits as well. She creates a dust storm at the start of battle, as well as a brown gem when her turn begins. The umbral giant creates a brown giant gem when it takes skull damage, which is not going to happen. But um, she also creates a brown gem when her turn begins. And so does he. So yeah, lots of brown on this team, which is really good. So let's um, dive straight in. I've got three times nicer medals for this. Not too worried about anything else. Gonna concentrate on damage. Gonna try and get some mana for the team. Get our damage dealer up and see if we get lucky with stuff like this. You can use this now. Convert a chosen mana gem to a uber doom skull. There's a gap there that's gonna make a four match. That's gonna be an extra turn at the same time, as well as damage as well as a mana gen. So we can look for that again. We've got an option down here. We could do it here or here. We'll pop it there as well. We can cast this. I'll cast this first actually, see if we get a little bit of a better result on these skull matches. See, this is where like you can use this, convert a mana gem into a elemental star. It does take a little bit of looking, like if we do this, this would be an extra turn at the same time, but there's no point in doing it just yet because our entire team is charged up. If you forget what the elemental star colors do, you can uh, bring up Shayla's spell there and uh, see the elemental star at the top. It shows that it uses uh, brown, blue, green, and red. I remember it just by it uses everything but purple and yellow. Um, but you can, yeah, obviously change a gem like that to make a four or five match. And there's probably other opportunities around there as well. But brown ones are going to be the easiest ones to spot because there's generally going to be more brown on the board in general. So, uh, but like I say, we don't need mana yet. So we'll can cast that. We can look around for four match on skulls by converting a gem to an uber doom skull, but there isn't any. So we'll chuck in some damage. Didn't get anything from that elemental star. The enemy did, so that's the way it's going to go sometimes. So you can look around now for the four matches again on that change of gem to a elemental star. It does take a bit of looking, like if that was not purple, then that red one in the middle would make a lovely five match, but it's not. So let's take a look around. There must be something somewhere. It's one of those things you think there's so many options. 
there has to be something somewhere. Not always going to be, it's just one of those things. Uh, right, well, I'm not seeing anything too obvious. There may be something there. Nothing's springing to mind absolutely straight away. So we'll uh, do that instead. Choose, convert a chosen mana gem to an uber doom scar. Right, now we do have the option here because we can convert that to the brown, which will make it into an elemental star. Now we can cast her again. Always look around for any nice matches first, especially if you get a four match on skulls by plonking in a uber doom skull. These skulls are okay, but the, the trouble is, 20% chance to dodge skull damage can happen. But it is 103 damage, so yeah, I am gonna do that and get some mana for my bottom troop at the same time. Here, another nice opportunity to get this charged up with this elemental star thing. But again, we have still got all our troops charged up. So no need to do that. We'll do that first. Get that splash damage. This is not a bad place to put a explosion, a uber doom skull, because you're going to take out that elemental star at the same time. But we do have a four match anyway. We'll take this even though we're fully charging all troops, because we may get a nice random skull drop or something like that, which means we can do this: convert a chosen mana gem to an uber doom skull, getting a nice amount of damage and an extra turn at the same time. Again, that sort of thing would have been good for converting any gem into a elemental star. Notice that, note that you can't change skulls, by the way. You cannot change skulls. That's one thing to remember. Right, let's get her doing a bit of damage again. She's charged up, ready to go. Let's go for it. See if we get lucky with those elemental stars. Yeah, let's take a look around now, see what we can change maybe, like we can change this blue. That would absolutely work. Put a mana gem to an elemental star. Anything near the middle of the board is going to give you more mana than something near the edge because of the way this fires out in a diagonal motion on all four diagonals. Getting you more mana. Let's go around that at the same time. Let's convert that into a Uber Doom Skull. Of that fella. Nice whack round of drops and some mana at the same time. Let's do this splash damage. Shayla's not up yet, but she probably will be after we collect something like that. Not quite though. This is an option on the element elemental star conversion again. This is going to be four match. That's got Queen Ash up. So you just got to be careful and just take a look out for these, you know, things like these conversions when you get those chances to get four matches and, and things like that. We can do a Uber Doom Skull conversion at the top, which I'm going to do. And you can do this, like the enemy doesn't use brown, so we'll give him a punch around the chops. So he's nearly sorted out. He now surely will be sorted out after this spell. Shame Shayla at the bottom isn't ready, because that would have been a nice one there to change that to a elemental star. Let's go for this again. So yeah, overall it's fairly straightforward there. We lost the top troop. Well, been a bit reckless on these last few turns. But um, yeah, we're generally going to be okay. They're gone. And just one left to go in there. And the job is a good one. Right, must have something around here that's half good. Let's make that into a elemental star. I use green. Take green away if you want to stop him from doing any any um, mana gem. Don't use green now on our side, which is 
Oh, let's give him a scan there. That was a little bit clumsy. But we're going to get there. Even if Shayla, not Shayla, Queen Ash, pops her clogs. Let's do this damage. Let's get it done. Not say I've been reckless on this one, but yeah, you could have been a lot more careful than that. I was just doing it to get things done in a bit of a hurry. Right, that is it for this video. Kind of slightly rushed near the end. You can be more careful than that. I've got plenty of things to do today, so I had to do that in a bit of a rush. But there's a video. If you found the strategy useful or helpful, it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.